Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have playing it safe with stuck energy. So it looks like uh, someone's kind of had a strategy here all along, okay? Uh, not wanting to really step out, take a chance here. We have you came closer than anyone, and I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, so this person might have a tough time here uh, really letting down their guard, okay? Wishing they could have done something different here. Overall energy, Ace of Swords. This is about speaking our truth here, clearing the air. A brand new beginning, okay? This is about communication, being clear and concise. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. Cancer. We have two of pentacles, justice, and the six of wands. So, you know, if things have been stagnant or kind of, you know, you're just dealing with the status quo here, uh, mundane, uh, things are getting better this week. It looks like you're actually getting uh, things settled for a lot of you, as well as things being very balanced and fair, going in your favor. It looks like you overcome a lot of challenges as well that you might have been dealing with here in the past. I do see in regards to your person, you know, you know what you want and what you require when it comes to love, and you're not going to take anything less than that. So let's see what's going on in their energy. We have two of swords, ten of cups, and the lover's card. Okay, so this person knows that they've been stuck here, right? They've not really stepped up and made a decision when it comes to this connection. But in the current moments, they're realizing that what they truly want deep down is to choose to be happy, choose emotional fulfillment here. And they want commitments. They want to be able to build a family here and a situation that would take this long term, uh, but they don't know how to quite get there, right? So they're realizing there's some things where they need to take the blindfold off and acknowledge what they need to fix or change, even within themselves, in order to have the courage to step up and commit. Tell me the Two of Swords. Seven of Cups. It seems like uh, it's it's really hit them that with them being indecisive about a lot of things, and this can be way bigger than just this relationship. If this person's non-committal or they don't like taking responsibility on, they don't realize how much it affects another person or hurting other people without really knowing it. Okay, so they're realizing this now. Something's really hit them. Tell me the lover's card. King of Pentacles, yeah, they want to choose to be a very stable person, somebody that takes on commitment here. So it's like this person sees the end goal. Uh, they're just not quite sure how to get there. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. For some of you, this could be a soulmate situation, but I see this person left out of fear and wanting to actually change their environment here. They lacked the courage to step out of their comfort zone, so they definitely kept you at bay, but they were always on guard here, Seven of Wands. But there is that undeniable bond, that feeling of this person knowing that you make their life better. They feel like you get them on every level here, and it is irreplaceable. So it's something that they fought within themselves. Uh, they knew that they couldn't let you go, but at the same time, they just lacked, you know, the courage to really make a change here. Tell them the Eight of Cups. King of Wands Tower. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, this person felt like they would be destroyed in some sense uh, if they made a, a rash decision. It was something uh, inside of them, like inner turmoil, where they felt like that they didn't have it within them to really commit. They're not the commitment type. Okay, so this person does not like to take on responsibility at all. I do see that here. And for others of you, this person needed to leave a situation behind, Eight of Cups, 
with the Six of Cups, this could deal with uh, being in a committed situation or being responsible for children. They felt kind of stuck and trapped as if they, they didn't really want to look at what was ahead of them and knowing that they wanted to choose this connection. So they just played it safe, stayed comfortable, and uh, didn't really want to rock the boat. So let's see what the challenge was here. Four of Wands, Sun card, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person may have felt a lot of pressure put on them. Okay, they might have had responsibility already. For those of you dealing with uh, this person in a committed situation or responsible for kids here, uh, this person felt like they got trapped already and they didn't like that feeling. And they didn't want to uh, commit or be responsible for other things as well as take that chance again and have it turn out the same way. Okay, so there's a lot of fears and doubts within this person's mind that they felt like they just could not overcome. In the Sun card, uh, things were very clear, right, to this person, what needed to be done, but they kind of put themselves in a denial stage. So they always pulled the wool over their eyes, didn't want to really address that your feelings are involved here, that this connection is very real and real to them as well. So they denied you uh, attention here, but they denied themselves uh, their own feelings, okay? So... This shows me a lot that it was very unstable. You really couldn't count on this person. And it wasn't like you could ever get them to open up how they truly felt about you or if this was really going to go anywhere at all. Uh, tell me this Four of Wands. Temperance, yeah. It seems so slow moving. Uh, it was really just so much stagnancy here. It felt at times uh, so lackluster that... As time progressed, you kind of got bored. You kind of felt like, this really isn't what I want anymore. I don't know if I really want to keep going around and with this person and keep going through this cycle here. Tell with the Ten of Wands. Emperor, yeah, this person needed to choose to do the right thing. Uh, choose what they wanted for themselves as well as you. It's almost like they just neglected this connection and neglected you. Uh, just for the simple sake of not wanting to change anything, not wanting to uh, make a mistake here. Uh, they were just playing it safe, too comfortable. Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take this week. We have Chariot, Ace of Cups, and the Moon card. So there's going to be something that happens here. It's almost like a surprise. Um, you're not really going to believe uh, Ace of Cups, Chariot, Moon is coming out of nowhere. And it seems like things are just over and done with. And it's like this person's going to pop in and say something here that's going to change the game. So if this reading is resonating with you with the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say to you, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.